Dear Maylene, I came to Moore, Oklahoma to do a piece on the tornado, to capture stories of pain and loss on the one hand, as well as human kindness and service on the other, in the wake of that amazing storm. The thing about your story is that it helped me to see the tornado as just one chapter in a much bigger story. I don't think my story is particularly special. When I married my second husband, we became a blended family. A short time later, we learned that my sister's children were in need of a more stable home. I didn't know how it would work, but it seemed like the best thing we could do, so we adopted her four girls. We took a family picture right away because I wanted those kids to know that they belonged. A couple of years went by and our marriage was struggling. When my husband left, I was shattered. I felt aimless, abandoned, and imperfect. How could I take care of this family? I worried that I was messing up the lives of my kids. I was overwhelmed, working three jobs. One morning, I was ready to give up. I felt sure that I just couldn't handle even one more day. One more day. That day, the tornado came. It destroyed your home, your place of work, and all of your belongings. I was working at Plaza Towers Elementary School when the tornado struck. Four of my kids were in the school too. I laid my body over a group of kindergartners as debris rushed around us. The roof came off and the storm completely destroyed the school. I was rushed to the hospital and for nine hours, I didn't know whether all of my kids were alive. That morning, I had wanted to give up. I had wanted to throw everything away. But when I faced the reality that I might have lost my kids, that I might not see their faces or hear their laughter again, I changed my mind. Seven children lost their lives in Plaza Towers Elementary that day. Late that night, when my kids and I were all together again, all alive and safe, I felt that no matter what happened, moving forward with God's help, we were going to make it. A short time later, a friend called me and told me he wanted to rebuild my house. I said, how can you? He said, I have the skills and the means. That's what I want to do. My kids and I worked side by side with that friend, digging trenches, laying plumbing, and building a house. When I was down visiting Oklahoma and saw the impact that the tornado of May 2013 had on so many lives, the words to a hymn were rolling through my mind. God moves in a mysterious way, his wonders to perform. He plants his footsteps in the sea and rides upon the storm. Ye fearful saints, fresh courage take. The clouds ye so much dread are big with mercy and shall break in blessings on your head. You know, my whole life I'd felt abandoned, like there were pieces missing. After the storm, God answered my prayers. He picked up the pieces and filled that void. I don't ever have to feel like I'm going to be alone or abandoned again because he is going to be there for me every step of the way. Though we will face trials, heartaches, and all manner of afflictions, our caring, loving Savior will always be there for us. He has promised, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come unto you. 